Morning Centurions. I'm Sydney. And I'm Lexi, and this is Channel 97 News. Let's start out by finding out what delicious food we have for lunch today. Good, mor good morning, Centurions. Today we'll be having delicious pizza cheese sticks or a meatball sub with a side of potato wedges or green salad. Your, your fruit will be a crisp, fresh apple, and as always, you'll have a choice of milk. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Matthew, for that excellent lunch report. Now let's check out the weather forecast. Thanks guys. For today's weather, the low is 51, so make sure to have a jacket handy in the morning. The temperature will, is going to be up to 80 in the afternoon. It sounds like North Carolina in October, fall in the morning and summer in the afternoon. Tomorrow's weather will be very chilly with a high of 66 and a low of 42. Make sure to stay warm. Saturday, I mean Sunday's weather will be a high of 68 and a low of 40. Thank you, Megan, for that wonderful weather report. It sounds like we have some good weather for our social. Make sure to be there. Now let's see what Kylie has for the state in history and check in with Debbie for our Hispanic Heritage Lunch Report. On October 7, 1985, Lynette Woodward, captain of the gold medal winning U.S. Olympic women's basketball team in 1984, becomes the first female player for the Harlem Globetrotters. Woodward traveled with the Globetrotters for two years and was presented with the Legends Ring in 1996 joining her cousin Osby in receiving the team's most prestigious honor. Selena Quintanilla was born on April 16, 1971, in Lake Jackson, Texas. Abraham Quintanilla, Selena's father, was the former manager and producer of the family's musical band, Selena Y. Los Dinos. She began performing as a child where she sings in Spanish but actually grew up speaking English. She did this to resonate with the Latino community. Selena learned to speak Spanish fluently as well as sing all her lyrics perfectly. She became the lead singer of her band at the age of 10. As she got older, she was referred to as the Mexican Madonna due to her dance moves and outfits. Selena's 1990 album was the first T-Jano record to achieve gold record status. Selena became the first female T-Jano artist to take home a Grammy for Best Music Mexican American Album. She had the band played numerous tour dates in New York, California, Puerto Rico, and Argentina in 1994. Soon after the release of her album live, Selena went to work on the first English album that she ho hoped would put her on top of the U.S. pop music charts. Unfortunately, she sh was shot at the age of 23 before she could see it get any success. Dreaming of You was released after Selena's death and became a huge hit. The album hit number one on the Billboard Top 200 the week of August 5th, 1995. Thank you, Kylie, for that outstanding This Day in History report. And Debbie for the Hispanic Heritage Facts. Now let's see what Brantley has for us in sports. Good morning, Centurions. Let's check out sports news. This Tuesday, the tennis team will have a match away against North Moore, and softball will also be away against North Moor. On Wednesday, our football team will be at home against North Moore. Make sure to support your Centurions. The North Moor game will also be our pink out game. Please wear your pink to school and support game the game to support breast cancer awareness. As always, game tickets are $2 for students and $4 for adults. The students must have a parent note to, to attend games. Don't forget, booster passes are available for free games entry at, to all home games. That's it for sports. Make sure to support your Centurions. Back to y'all in the studio. Thank you, Brantley, for the sports report. Like Brantley said, please come out and support your Centurions. Yes, thank you, Brantley. Don't forget that Monday is a teacher work day. Enjoy your long weekend in a row. That's it for Channel 97 News. Have a great, a great day, Centurions.